The history of the bed. Your mattress is considered old after around seven years, but according to the National Geographic, the oldest known bed in the world was discovered in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa, and dates back 77,000 years. Basically, it consisted of layers of plant material gathered into mats, which were periodically burned, perhaps to eliminate pests. The bed was around 12 inches thick and a whopping 22 square feet, providing plenty of room for the entire family. Leaves provided a cozy top sheet, and possibly also aided in keeping away bugs. For prehistoric nomadic people, life on the move meant that nights were generally spent resting on a pile of leaves or grass mounted into a depression in the ground. At Heinz Cave in southwestern Texas, researchers speculate that the many bands of hunter-gatherers who used the spot as a temporary home slept curled in the fetal position, as the small, oval, beds wouldn't have provided enough room to stretch out fully. Perhaps this kept the sleeper warm and cozy during the night. Today, you have more choices than ever before when it comes to your mattress and style of bed. Innerspring, memory foam, hybrids, latex, and air are just some of the mattress types available. While platform beds and four posters are still very popular styles, there are many other types of bed, wrought iron, sleigh, bunk, loft, and futon, to name a few. The bed has come a long way since the earliest grass-lined pits, but the basic concept is unchanged, a comfortable, safe and cozy spot to sleep and restore your energies through the night. Along with their other amazing inventions and technologies, including written language, advancements in engineering, building and quarrying, eye makeup, toothpaste, the door lock, and hair shaving, grooming implements, you can also thank the ancient Egyptians for the invention of the raised bed. This kept the sleeper off the cold ground and also made it harder for rodents, insects or snakes to crawl over the bed. The wealthier citizens of ancient Rome slept on raised beds made of metal, with woven metal supports to hold the feather or straw stuffed mattress. Less wealthy people had similar beds made from wood, with wool strings holding up the mattress. If you were poor, however, you still had to make do with a mat on the floor. Whatever type of bed, you probably would have been warm underneath your woolen blanket, which was common throughout the Roman Empire. If you lived in medieval Europe, your sleeping arrangements would have largely depended on your position in life. If you were lucky enough to be wealthy, your bed was an opportunity to show off your status. Large, impressive, often ornately carved or encrusted with gold or jewels, beds expanded far beyond a simple platform during the Middle Ages. If you were poor in medieval times, you would have slept on a hay-stuffed bag on the floor or on a simple platform. There's a good chance your family would be sharing the bed with you, or at least be nearby, privacy was not a medieval concept. Before turning in for the night, you would have hit the hay in an attempt to dislodge bugs from your mattress. While the poorest folks continued to sleep on simple pallets of hay laid on the floor or on a simple platform, it was now common for those of middle-class status to have not only a four-poster bed but also a separate bedroom to hold it. Typically, a bedroom during the time of the Renaissance would be on an upper floor of the home, and would contain a bed with a trundle underneath that could be pulled out to sleep family members or servants, along with a wooden trunk to hold clothing. During the 18th century, beds became simpler in style, although still often surrounded by heavy curtains. While beds were still usually made of wood, metal bed frames were starting to become popular as well. Cotton stuffed mattresses replaced down or hay, although they were still suspended in the bed frame with a system of wool straps or ropes. During the 19th century, bedrooms became more like the ones we enjoy today, mostly devoted to sleep or sex, although if you were a woman during this time, you would probably also use your bedroom for giving birth. The heavy curtains of earlier centuries faded away, although four-poster beds were still very popular. By the late 1800s, however, the posts were typically much smaller, and headboards and footboards also shrunk accordingly. The 20th century was a busy time for bed innovations, the Murphy bed and the waterbed both were invented and rose in popularity during this era. But those certainly weren't the only mattress improvements, the two most common types of mattress today, inner spring and memory foam, were both developed during the 20th century. Thanks for watching. 
subscribe for more interesting videos and please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.